This is day four of the national qualification event. Uh, we had relatively little to do for the last two days. So we took some time going through the data and Henrik made these wonderful animations of what happens inside Stanley. This is the uh, work of the computer vision group uh, on finding drivable surface, applying real-time machine learning to learning road models or models of drivable surface. What you see here is video from Stanley during its um, first qualification run, the, um, the flawless run, as we now know. Um, and you can see uh, a um, trapezoid in front of the vehicle that's being extracted from the laser map, which you can't see, as uh, flat. And it's being used for training a machine learning algorithm to find models of how does this flat stuff look like. And that's being applied to the entire scene. And the scene is now labeled essentially in two colors. Red means, you know, it looks just like that stuff. And green means it looks different. Different for us is obstacles we use to um, to warn uh, Stanley of obstacles at a range. Um, you inside the tunnel, you see how the machine learning zooms into uh, the colors of the tunnel, and as it uh, exits the tunnel, the color is quite different, but as soon as its trapezoid has covered enough ground outside the tunnel, its internal model is changed using its machine learning techniques, and is now able to recognize the grass. The important thing to notice here is there's a, a number of uh, false negatives, uh, regions that are drivable but not recognized as such, but Every obstacle that we see here is quite reliably recognized. You see the traffic cones in blue, which means they're being seen just fine by Stanley. Same with the stack of tires on the left. And there is a car coming up over here. And Stanley's vision routine is seen just perfectly well, which is required for us to be able to, uh, to drive. Uh, this is a laser display. Um, we have five different lasers. They come in different colors just in our display, so we can visualize them. You see uh, Stanley, a uh, little animated model of Stanley driving along the course. It's the initial gate that Stanley, of course, takes without any problems. And here you see uh, a very simplified uh, version of our uh, grid map that's being constructed as Stanley goes. Uh, it reaches out maybe 30 meters or so max. Uh, the um, curvature in front of Stanley just indicates the steering direction. Uh, we found it if we just roll out a circular trajectory that corresponds to a fixed steering direction, you can actually visualize quite well how Stanley steers at any point in time. Um, the first run in NQE we just found out recently has been the only uh, flawless run, so we're the only team so far who's scored uh, fully. We've uh, There's 50 gates on the course, we passed them all, and there's four obstacles that we avoided. Every other team had some uh, flaws or some collisions with something along the way. Um, we've been uh, conservative with regards to velocity, um, we found, of course, that others race faster than us. The fastest team was maybe um, about whatever um, 45 seconds faster than us, I guess. Uh, so there's not some debate um, on how important speed will be for the final race. Clearly, um, we've put our effort into safety at this point and not into speed. Uh, so it's something we might change. We, we don't have a prediction for race day, but certainly something we are discussing at this point. This is the uh, final stretch. You can see in the laser data the car park cars showing up just fine. Uh, Stanley swerving around them. And you can see the tank trap coming up in a second. And it looks really cute in the laser data. The laser data really clearly see the tank trap at a long range. In fact, there's just coming up. Uh, it's about a 25 meter range. And now it's coming to view. Uh, here we go. And there's the tank trap.